think every great character is yourself turned up to 11. I don't really see much difference from me, the person, and me, the wrestler. My name is Phil Boyd, and I'm a professional wrestler from Dublin, Ireland, and I'm the head coach of Fight Factory Pro Wrestling. I would have broken into wrestling back in 2003 with NWA Ireland. When NWA died and I took it over as Fight Factory, the NWA guys all sort of packed it in, like, and I was literally down on those mats in Bray with one or two people. Like, we couldn't afford the rent. We slowly start building our, our, our lifers, as I like to call them, people who have been part of the club for a long time and will be part of the club for a long time. We do a warm up just to build up a sweat. Then we'd obviously focus on technique stuff it's like four rolls, back rolls, cartwheels, this sort of thing. And then we might lead into some in ring cardio drills. So, I'm going to do is we lock up. Bert's going to throw me into a wrist lock. How he's going to do that is he's going to. What I look for uh, attribute wise in their physicality isn't that important. All I really look for is that, that drive, that, that willingness to learn and their ability to learn. The whole point about training is that everyone makes mistakes. The important thing is what you learn from those mistakes. So if you fail once, try not fail again. If you fail twice, try not fail a third time. I think that's the trick to becoming a top wrestler. I got into it just at the end of the last British Peak, and then it died, and then we had no one following us for years. Like, so we did all our best work in front of 50 people in Wicklow that did not care. Now, it's, now it is peaking. Like, the opportunities for people now compared to the opportunities when I started, it's astronomical. Like. I was filled with Trill Boyd and like, I used to come out with roses and give them to girls in the crowd, uh, which evolved into Philly the Kid. When I went to Japan, I became a more of a serious Phil Boyd. I was like the old school European wrestler. And then when I returned from there, I just sort of said, I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna do what I want, whenever I want. And I'm just going to that ring and enjoy it.